Welcome Soul Family. Today's light language transmission will be focused on releasing you and removing, clearing, cleansing and purifying the energy of frustration and unwanted infiltration. Many of us have felt the energy of frustration at different times on our journey. Maybe when we were trying to rush ahead, maybe when we were trying to manifest, maybe when we've been trying to get things done and they're not happening in the time frame that we'd like for them to happen. Maybe when we perceived our lives to be a certain way and they turned out completely different to that which we had wished or hoped for. It could occur when we feel that we are surrounded by people, places, situations and circumstances and even environments that may have served to our highest good at some point in our journey but that are no longer serving us in a positive way. It can also be the general atmosphere and the general state of the world that we're currently in where many of us have felt trapped or many people are feeling sort of caged in and locked up and unable to uh, feel free and be their true authentic selves. These feelings of frustration can also come from the outer world and the projections of the energy from outer circumstances, for example, what is currently happening in the world at this time and all the things that we see through the media, even other people projecting and infiltrating into our energy field, trying to cause blockages on our path or trying to bring harm or having ill intent or having ulterior motives and just projecting their fear and their limiting beliefs and their lack of internal well-being onto us and onto our mission and our purpose on this planet. There are a multitude of ways that this frustration energy can be showing up within ourselves or within the people around us or within the world in general where we may be absorbing some of that energy or we may feel like we are being affected by some of that frustration energy and when we're going out into the general public we could feel this discord of energy within the environments around us of the people who are still operating from a place of fear, the people who are still operating in that scarcity consciousness, in that lack and loss, in that fear of survival and they're still coming from a place of survival mode and when we've transcended these things and spirit still keeps us in certain places to be the light in those places, it can be frustrating at times when we feel that you know all the work that we're doing is going completely unseen or unnoticed or unappreciated. But I'm here to tell you and spirit is with me today guiding me to tell you that you are seen, you are noticed and you are loved for the work that you are doing and the light codes that you are anchoring into different places and wherever you are right now spirit has you there for a reason spirit has you there because the environments around you really need your light they need you to be grounded and balanced they need your energy so that they can stay afloat during this time and they can have that divine spark of light amongst the darkness that they may be facing so be grateful and appreciative that you are being utilized as a vessel for source and bringing so much love and so much light and anchoring that into the places and the people and the situations where they need it the most. Of course, once you have done your work, Spirit will then guide you to your next destination. And just know that the Creator will never keep you in a space or a situation for longer than is needed. Once you have done your work there, once the lessons have been learnt and integrated, once the blessings are ready to be received, you will be shifted and your timeline will definitely change. So just know that no matter what frustrations, what blockages are coming in your way, even if you're frustrated with other people, maybe other people are trying to block you or they're stealing from you or they're trying to take from you or they're stalking you or whatever it is that they're doing, you know, it can be frustrating when you've disconnected from certain people but they are adamant on still trying to infiltrate on your energy field. Spirit is saying that there is no need to retaliate there is no need to reverse anything that these people are doing. Your only job is to stay connected to the Most High and allow the Divine to do the rest. At the end of the day, everybody creates their own karma. So as long as you're connected to the Most High and as long as you're doing the work that you need to do to clear out your own energy field and clear out anything that you feel like you need to release yourself of, then the rest will be taken care of for you on your behalf. Anything or anybody that tries to get in the way and stop your 
your destiny and tries to purposely bring blocks onto your path will be dealt with in divine time by the most high so remove yourself from those types of energetic vampires because yes that's what they are they do try to suck the energy out of other people and just allow yourself to be who you truly are allow yourself to radiate the light allow yourself to be in balance allow yourself to be at peace and when that energy of frustration does come up do what you can to begin to clear it out and ground yourself so for example listen to this light language to release that energy um, listen to some reiki to release that energy do some energy clearing do some yoga do some go to the gym listen to some music dance it out sing it out bust it out however you need to get it out out, but do release yourself of that energy the more you release it the more you're going to feel relieved and the more you're going to keep coming back to your balance and to your center and when you're in alignment with your state of peace when you're in that place when you're patient when you're balanced when you know that everything is right here in the moment happening right now nothing on the outside has any sort of energetic impact on you because in those moments you are fully connected to your internal source of being which is the divine in those moments you are fully connected you're fully in alignment with God source creator and so in those moments nothing can touch you and this is why spirit wants us to keep coming back to this energy of peace and keep radiating this peace and keep relieving ourselves of all of that extra energetic baggage that people keep trying to infiltrate into our energy field or that the surroundings or that the system and the government and all of the fear and all of the bloody bloody blah that's happening in the world that are trying to take us off our path and that are trying to distract us from doing what we came here to do it's best for us to keep relieving ourselves of that energy and releasing that energy from our field so that we can stay connected with the most high and do what we came here to do so with that said you guys i'm going to deliver this light language to clear frustration from your energy field my intention is to help you to relieve yourself of any frustration any stagnant energies, anywhere where other people are projecting their energy onto your field, anywhere where people have taken from you, stolen from you, any gang stalking, anywhere where you've cut people off but they are still trying to infiltrate your energy field, anywhere where the system or the environments or the surroundings or the government or people around you are trying to bring mind control and manipulation into your field to take you off your path, anywhere where there are blockages on your path that you yourself have created or that other people are trying to create to keep you out of alignment with your soul's purpose. Now is the time to release it all and I set the intention that with this light language and the light codes that I allow to flow through me that these energies be relieved, removed, cleansed, purified and nulled and voided from your space, energetic field, auric field, electromagnetic field and physical vessel across all time, spaces, dimensions and realities and sent back to pure source with love and light. Tikitikita, Tricket 
We are bringing in protection now from Makali to protect your energy field from anything and anyone and any surroundings that are trying to infiltrate and penetrate your energy field with negative energies. We are repelling these negative energies now and we are ensuring that they are cleared and transmuted across all time spaces, dimensions and realities and sent back to pure source with love and light. Mahakali troko ser katak shar katera na karo ko sore pete kitare se na tarakata hom drak shera katauro Om Om cream kali kaye namaha Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. And so it is. Wow guys, that was powerful. <laughs> so that particular transmission was extremely powerful. The energy output of that transmission was quite different. And I did feel Makali coming through a lot in that transmission to really say that, you know, we are her children. We are the children of Shakti. We are the children of nature. We have nothing to worry about. And any Thing or anyone that is trying to infiltrate our energy field even if it's just negative thought forms or negative programming and conditioning from society that she is here to help us to relieve ourselves of that and she is here to put an end to anything that does not serve our highest good and an end to anything that is trying to create um, in, in Sanskrit Virod Utpan Kar Rahe Hai Hamare Mark Par to Unka matlab hai. So what that means is they're trying to create blockages and barriers on our path. And anything that is trying to do that will be destroyed. Any energy that is trying to do that will be destroyed on our behalf. So long as we stay connected to the Most High. And so long as we continue walking our path despite the adversities, despite um, the slander, despite the trials and tribulations so long as we keep walking in our faith nothing of the negative energies and none of that fear and none of that crap <laughs> can frustrate us and to the point where we give up on our goals and we give up on our purpose and path forward so keep going fam keep thriving you are here to really bring shift and change in humanity by bringing that shift and change into yourself and you are divinely guided shielded and protected man i feel powerful after that after that transmission i feel like at this 
knowing and I just feel like I want to express this to you all that you have absolutely nothing to worry about. The energy and the power that comes through from that Shakti is impenetrable. So anytime you feel frustrated, anytime you feel like you're under any kind of spiritual warfare or psychic attack or people are trying to stop you or stalking you or trying to slander you or trying to bring you down or whatever it is and you can feel it energetically, you can come back to this transmission and allow Mata Shakti to do what she does best and clear the way and take you in her arms and keep you safe. Take care, stay blessed, stay high vibing. I will connect with you shortly. Peace.